Yes, you can see that the landlord is losing a little patience. Oh. Okay, because he sells it here. She sees all this stuff. Yeah, I mean, look at look at the front porch. You look at everybody's front porch. It's all clean. Yeah. Look at this front porch. And look at the flies. You see the flies? Yeah. You know, there shouldn't be flies as I walk into my house. Yeah. So this is why she's in trouble. You know, everybody else has a clean front porch. This used to be a swimming pool down here. Well, not only does this, well, not only does this, um, an eyesore, but this, this attracts bugs and cockroaches. Oh, yeah. You can't have this cockroaches, much. Cockroaches. Yeah. yeah, you can't that's have That's why this. I watch my place close. You see, there's no ants that, The there. ants, that's right. Yeah, yeah. So it's not, and then the mice. Mm -hmm. They thrive on food and stuff. That's what they're looking for. Okay, so it is apparent that I came over here to help a hoarder. And the hoarder is not ready, believe it or not. It's a mental disease. So I'm going to try to keep filming a little bit, not without showing any faces. But, of course, but my own. I better get that light right, but man... So I come over here to help a hoarder, and uh, I'm just standing out there waiting. So I'm going to go try to get a, a little better glimpse of what's inside, but I don't know. It's, it's kind of hard to do incognito and uh, keep faces out of it, but yeah. Now, I don't know how long I should wait. I told this lady this is the last time I'm going to help her because... I, I feel like I'm enabling her, but that old man that I'm talking to said that the sheriff is involved now and she might get evicted. So I feel guilty not helping her, but in the same breath, I feel like I'm enabling her. You know, she has all these people that are helping her with her addiction and I feel like an enabler. So I gotta, I told her this is the last time I'm doing it. She look at, Let's go downstairs. Here's how this is being a hoarder is a drug addict. I mean, it, we all have something, remember that. So you can't blame people for, you know, everybody has something. Even you have something that we don't like about ourselves. So look at, she's got my truck. Remember, this is a poor lady. She, she's in like section house, section eight apartments. And uh, yeah, there's cockroaches and all kinds of shit, but you can see why. But look at what she did. She rented a van. So she's gonna fill her stuff up. And I thought I was only gonna be here for an hour or so and just fill up my truck. But now I know what she means. She's gonna fill up that van full of junk. So no wonder she needs me, but she's not ready. So how long do you sit around wait to fill up a van I told him I'm gonna go clean up my car so I probably should go do that but, uh, all right let's go spy on a hoarder uh, I said bye or did I say bye oh I guess my location is revealed
Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's getting crazy. Okay, I'm going to make a trip down to the van, I guess. These don't seem like they'll be easy to carry. These seem like they'll be easy to carry. Oh, yeah. That'd be all. Awesome. Most of them have wheels. No, it should not have that one. To the rim? No, right there. This one to the rim. Okay, it is apparent. I'm in this old rickety elevator. And I got my first load. And last time I helped this lady, there was cockroaches coming off of this. Thank God she got her own van. But I told her she only has me for a certain amount of time. Let's get out of this old elevator before it breaks. Okay, we're on our way to the storage unit and we got that van about a quarter away packed, so what a waste. And the old lady that doesn't know how to drive, well, she's behind the wheel of her U-Haul. All right, let's get to the storage unit that she can't afford. Oh, by the way, she has two storage units. Postscript. Okay, I'm following her and she didn't even know how to start it. Now she's in the middle of the intersection, so good luck. Okay, well, it is apparent that we are at a storage unit place and this is where people actually pay money to keep their stuff. Can you believe that? They, put, they pay money to visit their stuff. Behind this door is somebody's stuff that they... They have so much stuff that they have to pay rent. To pay rent? Yeah. To, and now their it's stuff... Public storage. Now that's public storage. Their stuff is in jail. Yeah, okay. And, and, and... Yeah. But they do have fire sprinklers. That's a good thing. This is an old... Yeah, I hope they don't go good enough. Old them. warehouse here. So they do have fire sprinklers up there. Because I am doing this one so that you can help you. This is, uh, Three storage units. I think three storage units is what she got. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We got trophies. Yeah. Right up here. Okay. Now. Celebrity of the year. Ah. Uh. That's a big trophy. Okay, uh, here, here. Like, um... Big box? Get the big box in first. Right in the corner? Yeah, 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 that's right. So you, no smile. Oh, here, shut this one. Wait, you gotta shut this one first. Be careful. Beautiful, beautiful. Good job. I'm sorry, you know, but that's the idea. I hope I can continue this kind of job. I got it. Okay, now. 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 Now.
as soon as she can start it. Okay, drive careful, nice and slow. Nice and easy, push the brake. Okay, I'll see you. Okay, that was the second blow up that that lady had. And I'm glad I caught a little bit about that on tape. Cause uh, yeah, she does not like the word hoarder. And I found out that that is not shit we were moving, that is her stuff. So, yeah. I don't know how much longer I could do this. All right. Yeah, get home safe. The hoarder's house. All right. Let's see if I can do this. Well, as always, I want to thank you again for coming along with me on these Porter's House Adventures. It's all up here. It's not the stuff. It's this stuff. All right. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody. I said bye.